Welcome home to Concora. Hi, this is Kathy with callkathy.com. Love your home, love your neighborhood. Today, we're actually super excited. We're gonna to be touring a new community called Concora. This is in Eastern Loudoun County in the Dulles Corridor. And we're gonna be visiting Boykin Wagner of DRB Homes. He's gonna be sharing more information about their townhouse style condos. These are luxury townhouse, townhouse style condos with almost 2,500 square feet of living area, rooftop terraces, and in this fantastic location. You can see this beautiful surrounding. We're actually surrounded by Broad Run Creek, and we have all this land that will be developed. There's gonna be wonderful restaurants, trails, shopping centers, so many fun activities for everyone to enjoy, all in the comfort of a convenient location. Let's go ahead and get started and Boykin's waiting for us inside and we're gonna be able to introduce you to him and the community. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey Hi, Kathy, how are you doing? Boykin, so nice to see you. Good to see you. Ooh, your hands are warm. <laughs> Welcome to DRB Homes at Concora. Well, you know, um, what a fantastic location. I really enjoyed the drive here to the community. Thank and you. I see all this future land that's gonna be developed. Yeah. And tell us a little bit more about it. It's very exciting. This is a new town center for Northern Virginia. It's been in the works for 20 years. And it's just getting, it's just coming to fruition now where you can see buildings popping out of the ground. Uh, the concept is something kind of like Reston 30 years ago, Reston Town Center or One Loudon 10 years ago. This is a lifestyle, um, purchase for people who would like to be um, parking their car and then walking to things like cafes or delis or going out on uh, for a hike along the river Broad Run Creek where there's a three mile trail um, with observation decks and, and um, uh, really nice uh, bridges. You know what, I noticed that. I was looking at some of the plans for the yeah. community. It looks like Broad, broad Run uh -huh. wraps right around the community. So yeah. you're, there's no development that will happen up to the community, right. is what I'm seeing. So, which I think is really a nice feature. Yeah, it's, a, it's protected by state law and it's title based in a lot of it anyway. So you couldn't build there if you wanted to. And it's 165 acres of green space. So we're, we're an oasis of nature, very conveniently located. We're just one stoplight away from I-20 or from 28. Okay. So you can zip right out to get onto 267 or, or 66, or if you want, we're very close to Route 7, if you want to go in that way. So we're, it's great for commuters. It's great for people who like nature and um, sort of the town, uh, town center style living. Like lifestyle living. Tell me Thank a little you. bit more about what will be featured here in the community. Well, I'm hungry right now, so the first thing I think about is grocery stores. We're one mile from a Trader Joe's, that's One Loudon. Okay. So we're just one mile from One Loudon, and um, all the conveniences and the luxury that that uh, brings. And then we're two miles from a Wegmans going that way, and we're three miles from a Whole Foods. So if you if you like groceries, or I you're do, hungry, this is, this is a great place to shop. We're just about a mile and a half from the um, access onto the bike path, the okay. WNOD trail. One so, of my favorite yep. trails actually. So there's hiking here, there's biking there, and um, those are some of the most important features to me. I like the green, I like the nature, I like the outdoor exercise, and I like the convenience of uh, high-end retail. Tell me, like, Kinkora, where did the name come from? It's uh, old Irish, so Celtic and it means 10,000 welcomes. Oh, I like that. 10, Celtic welcomes. or Celtic? <laughs> I don't know. And how about the um, townhouse style condos? Can you tell me a little bit more about the, how many units? We're what building they're going 115 of them here. Okay. And there's the two level, they're both two levels okay. the lower two level unit and the upper two level unit. It's 1,600 square feet on the lower one and it's 2,300 square feet on the upper one. And they're three bedroom and they're two and a half bath. They feel very roomy. It's 24 feet wide. So, you know, even the secondary bedrooms are gonna fit a queen's bed. Good. A queen's uh, queen That's mattress. Important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've sold so many townhomes, and when you get to those front rooms on a 20, it becomes challenging. So, very spacious, 2,300 square feet on two levels. 
That's a big deal. Yeah. And the lower levels have 1,600 square feet. And That's right. Again, three bedrooms as well. Three bedrooms and two and a half baths. Got it. Yeah. Got it. So for someone that wants to walk out their door and go right to the shops and walk around the community, the lower level ones might be a nice That's right. unit. Yeah. Pet, maybe pet owners with all the trails here in the community. That could be a really nice selling feature for the lower ones. That's right. And the upper ones with three bedrooms, I know that there are some that like the upper levels. There's What's nice is you have both, both yeah. combinations here. Yeah. And the rooftop terraces, of course, that's going to be a nice feature. We don't typically see those in townhouse style condos. Yeah, it's so. definitely a feature that uh, not everybody offers, but this is an upscale feature and this is an upscale neighborhood. So we thought it was an appropriate match. And you get up there and you look out and you see, especially this time of year, the tops of the trees in, in the fall is gorgeous. So it's, it's, you know, if you haven't flown it, we have a lovely location with a lot of greenery. We may as well make it uh, easily uh, enjoyable to the people who buy here. So who's buying here? Like from what you've seen so far, who is the best candidate for this community? We get a lot of people coming from Fairfax County, maybe Herndon or Centerville, okay. who uh, like the quietness of here. We've got all the same conveniences and the same commute is just quieter and newer. Okay. And then we're seeing a lot of people who've already moved out here, but they're renting and they love it. So they're renting and paying 3000 or more a month for one or two bedrooms. And why not pay about the same and own? And people from One Loudon. So people from this neighborhood where there's uh, luxury apartments or from One Loudon, where rents are even higher, it's a little noisier there. And this is sort of a quieter version of One Loudon, it's just a mile away. Just a mile away. Yeah. So do you have more first time home buyers or do you have downsizer people that are that's, downsizing? It's probably 50-50, but that's right. exactly who we're getting. Okay. First time home buyers and downsizers. Okay, great. It's nice to have a community that will welcome both. So yeah. the community of a thousand Welcome. Thousand right? welcomes. Yeah, Thousand we'll welcome welcomes. So, <laughs> well, we can't wait to see the. We're going to be one of the first, actually, if not the first group, yeah. to actually really be able to walk through the construction of the the model, not yeah. the model, but the actual unit. So, we're really lucky that Boykin's going to give us a sneak peek today. Yeah, don't tell anybody. Don't put it on the internet. <laughs> That's another retail bay right there. Okay. So you can right walk over here. there, yep, get a okay. cappuccino, come over here and, and a cheese dish, and sit down here and eat it and then go out on the trails and burn it off. Is there gonna be a yoga studio or anything like that here? You can do yoga on your roof. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> so, this is DRB's first townhome building at Kinkora. You see, we've already got some sales in it, and it's popping up out of the ground like a mushroom. We uh, <laughs> we hired the best contractors for framing in the Northern Virginia area, and just seven guys have done this in less than 30 days. They're going to have 11 guys over on our next building. They're pulling over another crew. Okay. And uh, sometimes you get what you pay for, and with labor, that's definitely the case here. That's important. I mean, if I was a, a future buyer, I would want to make sure that the framing was done well, yeah. right? And these have already sold. You've got this, these two here, yeah, 307 and 308. 308, we've got a couple over there that have sold and we have some offers out for signature down here. Got it, so got it. It's normally you don't get any sales until you have a model. But okay. This neighborhood's such a desirable location that we're getting some sales anyway. Got it, got it. Okay, great. Well. Go ahead and go in. So we'll start downstairs. It, this is a good time to see a home because it's before the walls hide everything behind them, yes. before the drywall hides. And you want to see that it's a two by six wall, not a two by four wall. Okay. And then as it gets further along, you're going to see pest defense systems that we hide behind the walls and thicker insulation. We do 40% okay. more insulation than code requires. Oh wow! So I like to That's say these homes deal. are built like a built like a Yeti thermos. Wow! They're um, very efficient for heating and cooling, which okay. is good for the pocketbook, good for the environment. And this is the Roslyn. So you walk in from the entrance there, and you have this um, area here, which is a, a family room for TV and sofa. There's room here for a breakfast table. Okay. 
And then we're gonna have a U-shaped kitchen here okay. with a peninsula island and an overhang. And then cabinets and countertop and cabinets and countertop, pantry and coat closet. I love the fact that there's a pantry. Yeah. That's actually skipped a lot in condos, having a real pantry. Oh, you're gonna love when you see upstairs. And We've got storage that, like nobody. Is that a coat closet? Powder room. Oh, powder room. That's the powder room. Okay, yeah. great. And then this is your garage. Okay. It's it's an attached garage and the driveway is uh, 18 feet deep. Nice. So you can fit one in the driveway and one in the car That's in the garage. Yeah. I love the fact that you have two parking spaces right here. Yeah. Sometimes they cut off the driveway, so you're just you know, parking. Hanging the car. out there, yeah, or trying to park sideways. Nine foot ceilings on all three levels, which allows us to do uh, six foot tall windows. So you're gonna get a lot of daylight in all of these. Maybe we'll go upstairs next. I'm so used to selling townhomes. I love the size of the secondary bedrooms in these. That's a big deal. Yeah. You get this threshold of about, um, these are almost 12 feet wide. And at 12 feet, you can fit a queen size bed. And we have a lot of people who have teenage kids or second adults living in the home who don't fit on a single. Yeah. And you can fit queen size beds in both of these secondary bedrooms. Are they both the same size? They are. Okay, so yep. both rooms are the same size. I think yep. that's important. Usually with townhomes, you have one room that's more tiny. Yeah, you have that throwaway room. And you tell people, well, it's for a crib or for an office. This is actually really nice. You could put a queen over there and an end table and have a dresser across from it. Yeah. With end tables. When are the models going to be done? Models are probably going to be done in March or April. Okay. So when that happens, I mean, you want to buy one now, <laughs> really? Yeah. Because this is a, this is a time to get in. Especially right the ones that have more upgrades on them. They've really put deep discounts on those. Okay. They're, some of them are $60,000 uh, pre-construction discounts. Some of them, not all of them. Uh, this is a, a linen closet. This is what's really unusual for a condo. This is storage. No. Yeah. You've got to be kidding. No, really? No. One thing that first time home buyers really underestimate is their storage requirement. And uh, they move in and they call you a month or two later and say, we need to upgrade. You know, we need to yeah. something bigger. We've grown out of it. This would be, a, this is going to be, uh, I think, very useful when it comes to actually finding a place to put your I've never your seen stuff. that. Yeah. So tell me, so this is the storage room here. Yeah. What is this? Is this where you can store additional stuff? Additional stuff. That is huge. Yeah. Because a lot of times we have buyers that buy these condos and then they have to rent a storage space. That's yeah. right. They have to go into a self storage place. Yeah. So you could put what I would have. I would have a surfboard up here. <laughs> I would have uh, maybe bicycles because I have a couple extras. Uh, suitcases, Christmas decorations, you can fit it all. You can hide a lot of stuff. You can hide there. a lot, so your house isn't cluttered with your stuff. You That's put it away here. This is a hall bath. It's going to have a double vanity, okay. and then a, a double vanity here, and a separate toilet and tub shower. I like that. Yeah, family friendly. Speaking of family friendly, this is a walk-in laundry room. It's very unusual where you can get a side-by-side walk-in laundry room. Very it's going to be very livable, you yes. know? Yeah. It's not just going to show well, it's going to live well. Like There's the a difference. Work. This is one walk-in closet. That's another walk-in closet. This is the owner suite. Oh, this is the master bath. The master bath. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to have uh, a shower over here okay. and a vanity here and a water closet there. Got it. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna play Casper the Friendly Ghost and slip through a wall. That way we have to go down and come back up again. Okay. So now we're gonna go to the to the upper unit. Okay. Which would have had a uh, which has an entrance right down there. Okay. So we just skipped going down and coming back up a flight of stairs. Okay. The garage is back there. So if you live, if you bought the upper unit, you still have your garage there and you have your own entrance from the garage into the stairs or you come in from the front. That's nice you have two options. It's nice that the stairs aren't all uh, in a row either. We have landings. A lot of people like to have a little bit of a break between 14 steps of stairs. I'm gonna tell you that's huge because we sell a lot of townhouse style condos throughout Northern Virginia. 
and they're just like these steep stairs and then you go another steep level of stairs having that landing is really important it's called a landing for a reason right <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at the rest <laughs> wide stairs here which a lot of people appreciate we're oh gonna my gosh this is amazing yeah it wow. blows a con it blows a townhouse away when you're showing it most townhomes are around 20 feet wide. This is 24 feet wide, and um, you can really feel it up here. It's 50 feet front to back. You're gonna have a high ceiling here, so you could hang a chandelier. You have an eye for design, yes. so you can get some of that drama oh from a high ceiling here, open rails. This doesn't feel like apartment living, which a lot of the condos where it's just narrow stairwells, you know, and shotgun up 14 steps, um, make you feel like you're just in an apartment again yes just paying more for it this is going to feel like a single family home you're going to have your coat closet here powder room here and then just big wide open space this is we're going to put a table here in our model and then this is where the kitchen's going to start you can see they've already sort of boxed off where the cabinets are going to go and you got you have an island that starts here and goes all the way down to here so it's a huge island. Everybody likes a big island nowadays. Yes. <laughs> Everybody likes open space. This is nine foot ceilings and it's it's 50, uh, 42 feet front to back plus the eight feet of outdoor porch. You could use this all, you could use this probably 10 months out of the year if, if you don't mind a little bit of cold weather and I don't. This is amazing. This is a huge porch. It's a huge porch. It's gonna have a fireplace over here. So with a stone surround. And this is why I'm tempted to buy here. I, I, uh, I love the trees, I love the outdoor space, I love the creek, I love the the eagles and the great blue herons you see flying around here. Have you seen some eagles? Yeah. Wow. Yep. That's amazing. Groundhogs. <laughs> Not everybody's excited about groundhogs, but I like- it. And Dulles Airport, we didn't even talk about that. Dulles Airport is how many minutes drive from here? Maybe 15? That's exactly what I was thinking, yeah. about a 15 minute drive. Yeah. So if you are traveling uh, to anywhere in another state, Dulles Airport is so, I mean, it's closer to my house, 15 yeah. minutes, so <laughs> that's short. But look at this angle from here. It's a great shot, like, isn't really it? Really look at this uh, because it is really a stunning size uh, main level, really, with the stairs. Is it going to be an open staircase? Some of the staircase yeah. here? Yep, it's gonna be an open staircase. Great. And people comment on the width of our stairs all the time. Because that's another little thing where it's three feet, four inches. You add a couple more inches and it just feels less like an apartment and more like a single family I can home. See it already. Easier to get the furniture up. So it's practical and it's aesthetically nice. So three feet, four inches is typical. Three feet is what you normally get. Three feet get. is yeah. normal. So the extra four inches, you can actually feel yeah, it. Yeah, just more Especially elbow room. Bring in your mattress up here. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> mattresses. <laughs> Furniture. Yeah. We'll start with the little bedrooms or the secondary bedrooms. Again, easily fit queens. This one's got um, a, a reach-in closet, but it's a two-door opening. So it's okay. a wider reach-in closet. Yeah. 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 It's the same size. Bigger, the no, same they're the size. same. This one has a walk-in closet, okay. which is nice. You know, Loudoun County schools, we're going to have plenty of people with grown kids who want to go to the local schools. Here is your laundry again. This is the hall uh, bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. This is the owner suite. Look at the windows. Those are kind of cool. You put your headboard right underneath that. Look at that. Can you imagine looking out at that when you wake up in the morning? <laughs> it's a big closet. It's one closet, but it's kind of double sized. Yep, yeah, there's going to be a building along there. This building is also a prime building as well. It is. They're going to be right next to the creek. That one's right next to it. This one, this one, in some ways, it's also prime because your views are going to be that way from yes. the from the kitchen and from the uh, covered porch. Yes. And from the owner suite, you're going to be looking towards the trees. Yeah. These people will be physically closer, yes. but they're going to be looking at us 
when yeah. they're in their bedroom or their kitchen oh. instead of looking out there. Okay, got it. Got so it. this is a good building. They're all good because the, if you get up high enough, if you get on the terrace, you're gonna see around, see it all. Yeah. <clears throat> this is a, a water closet. Look at the size. This is gonna be what we call a Roman shower. So it'll be a shower head here and a shower head here, handset tile, a seat, and then a frameless, thick frameless uh, door. So what makes shower it a Roman door. shower? The fact that there's two shower heads? Two shower heads, frameless glass, mm -hmm. and all handset tile. Not a fiberglass pan. Okay, handset tile. Handset tile. So you're gonna start to feel, a little, DRB has got, uh, in Northern Virginia, we built to a very high spec level. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna feel that in the uh, the details. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. And another one here again. Yep. Yeah. This is huge right here. This 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 feature is actually one of my favorites. Yeah. I I would do the upstairs. You know, I'm over fifty. I don't mind. I don't mind the stairs. My grandma lived to 93 and she was in climbing 16 stairs to her front door. <laughs> so maybe I'll live to 93 if I buy the one up here. Yeah. No, it's a great space for outdoors. Oh my goodness. I have not seen a rooftop terrace in any townhome this large. Literally. I would have. This is a townhouse style condo. Yeah. And it has a larger rooftop terrace than I've ever seen. Yeah, I would be out here. Here's where you could do your yoga. I have a lemon tree. <laughs> uh -huh. I'd put my lemon tree out here. I'd get an avocado tree. I got tomato plants and uh, they would do they would do very well out here. What a perfect spot. You could literally do your outdoor garden. Yeah. So Route 7 is over there and 28 is over there. We're about a mile from them, but we're just the right distance where you're not really on the road. You can't hear the traffic. And, uh, but you can get out in there if you need to go to work or. I like the distance here, too, like mm -hmm. the distance from this building to the, you know, those, um, town, those are townhomes. No, those, those are, are townhome style condos. Townhouse style yeah. condos mm -hmm. as well. And then we've got the other, um, the those are, that building there has the apartments. That's, that's apartments also. Okay. And then the developer's office is where we met. Okay. And then that's gonna be, to the right of that is gonna be uh, luxury apartments with retail on the first floor and there's going to be retail directly across the street here and up where you see the uh, container that's where the first museum is going okay the wow. children's science center and then what i love too is like look at how beautiful the land is here there's like it's a it's not flat and so you have an area that you could actually bike around right yeah yeah, there's miles and miles of trails back there. Yeah. I haven't been on all of them, but I've been on a couple and they're uh, go right up fun. to the water. Are we gonna do that next? We can. <laughs> What a fun day here at Kinkora. Blaken, thank you so much for taking us through. We got a chance to walk around the trails. We got to hear about the models and the floor plans. We got to actually walk through them in the pre-construction phase and construction phase. And we're looking forward to actually bringing a lot of future homeowners here. So thank you so much, Boykin. Anything that you'd like to share as we end our tour here today? It was my pleasure. Thank you for your time and attention. That was, uh, didn't feel like work at all, that little sneak peek. <laughs> so bring back some customers and we'll do a Dusty Boots tour. And uh, it's just getting prettier every day. Wonderful. Well, we're here at DRB Homes at Kimcora with one of the best salespeople that I've actually worked with with new construction. And we're looking forward to introducing any future buyers here to the community. I'm Kathy with callkathy.com. Love your home, love your neighborhood, and we're sure you're gonna love Kimcora.